Okay, that's uh, installing cellulose with a hose. Um, the way it's mostly done, I'd say more than 90% is uh, installed with a hose. However, with the hose it only works if you have individual voids, if you have voids which are separated by the stud. And on this house, because it's the, so deep, 40 centimeter deep, it's a twin stud system. It means that there is a gap between the outer stud and the inner stud where the cellulose will spill over. And to give you a better idea of what it looks like, I just cut open the membrane here and show you the build-up in behind it. Um, so we just go along here and down here. And now you can have a peek inside. This here is my outer load bearing stud, 150 mil by 50 mil. And then we have a 150 mil void between. And then we have another 4x2, 100 mil by 50 mil stud on the inside. And they connect it using plates. Um, but when I bring in my hose here now, and it's coming down from the top down, in that void and <clears throat> I start filling it up and filling it up and filling it up the cellulose will spread through that gap into the neighbor void and it will partly fill the neighbor void so on the next bay if I'm trying to bring my hose in the pass is blocked by the cellulose at the same time the cellulose is not dense enough to leave it as it is so <clears throat> there's a couple of solutions to it. One way would be to separate all the voids by using a strip of membrane and closing them off, having individual bays. Another solution would be um, to work with multiple hoses. So I would always have three hoses already pre-installed uh, pre, uh, in, the, in the bays. And then if that hose is already in here, and I'm filling that bay, and the cellulose spills over, it, it spills basically around the hose, and I can recompress all this by swapping to the next hose. They're all kind of tedious and rather tricky ways of doing it. So <clears throat> what I do here is, in my opinion, the easiest solution, and that is um, using a so-called needle that gets attached to the hose. And what I can do there then is I poke into the membrane, but I can bring that needle all the way down to the bottom of the bay and turn it a bit left, right, fill it, fill, fill the void, fill the void, fill the void, fill the void, keep filling. And then I can actually turn it around and bring it all the way to the top of the void. I'm hitting the top plate here now. And then I start filling the void from the top down. Fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it. Doing that, the cellulose will also spill over in the neighbor void, but a bit more loose. And the needle allows me to then poke into the neighbor void through the already installed cellulose and then pull it back and recompress everything that's in that void and fill it up properly. And how to do it, we show you now. So <clears throat> for the metal pipes or the needles, um, there's a whole variety available, like thicker, thinner, longer, more curve, less curve, a bit more straight. This is only, only four different types out of, I don't even know how many there are available, 20 different sizes. So we have a big, long void, so I go for a thick, long needle. And again, that's just attached to the hose. Use a clamp, hose on, clamp over. Um, tiny little tricks, I like to keep this part of the clamp in line with the tip, so I know exactly where the tip is. For the inst installation of the cellulose, 
settings are almost the same as with the hose. And the way you do it, you basically just pick your point. You have that sharp tip. And now it goes like banging all the way down, hitting ground here. And start. Here we go again. And go. Now this will take a bit of time now because this looks like a little accident, but it just shows you how airtight the house is because the air I'm using here to fill this void is popping out there now. Not somewhere through any gaps or bits or pieces or, or, or leaks to the outside. No, it actually it, it travels out and comes out there. So I just blocked that hose and then we continue filling here. So <clears throat> this will take a little while now. They really are big voids and also we partly filling this one and we partly filling this one. So even though there's a lot of material moving, it might look slow, but that's what, 25 kilos going in there every two, three minutes. Now another detail that I like using with the needle is, I can really go exactly where I want to go. I can always pull it back a bit, go to that corner again, go over here again. I can place the cellulose perfectly wherever I want it and um, get a really good and fairly even density as well. Okay, now I fill it almost up to the hole. I just flip it around and bring it all the way up and pick one of the corners and start filling from the top down now. And you can actually see how it's falling in here into the neighbor void. Okay, now it's filling up at the top, so I pull the needle and poke it back up to make sure I really get into the top corners. And you can see how it bulges, and I gradually pull the hose out now. And just go a bit left and right again. And same as installing with the hose, just when I come to the end, I'm almost finished here now. I just make sure, poke, poke around that last bit a little bit in different directions. Oop. And that's it now, switch it off. That's it. <clears throat> and here we have the situation now that we are talking about. If you, you see, this is what it should feel like. That's nice and dense, like, like a mattress. Good fill. Here, it's filled, but it's weak. So I couldn't use the hose to go in, but I can use the needle. And that's what I'm doing now. So I just go in here. I can feel a bit of resistance of the medium dense cellulose that's already there but I'm still able to go all the way to the bottom and now I start here again and recompress what's in there and fill it up properly.
So now that we're all done, um, we check what we've done there. So I open up one of the voids uh, that we filled and just go in here nice and easy. And that's what it looks like in behind. And you can, when you cut it open, you can feel or see that it's almost like a little bit spring loaded. It pops, pops out a little bit. And, um, you know, this is kind of firm, wouldn't fall out. It just really stays there. So I can go in here and basically push it a little bit away and you see like how it's kind of sitting there and it actually pops back into place. So this is snug tight packed. We do another little test now. Will this all fall out? Or how easy does it fall out? Now, I can reverse the machine and use it as a hoover, so don't worry about the spill here now. I just put a mighty big hole in it. And you can see that even without the support of the bottom, it's just sitting in there. You see the back of the board? <laughs> Just sitting there, doing its job for the next hundred years. Okay, now that we installed it, obviously we punched and cut some holes into the air tightness membrane. Part of the cellulose job is as well to seal them off properly. And for that, Proclima has a maxi version of their Vana tape. Uh, it's a 150 mil roll and of that roll I'm just cutting down strips or pieces and use them as patches then to seal off those uh, holes. So as always it's important that there's no dust and no cellulose so I just wipe it and <clears throat> peel off the back of the patch. Judge aim, stick the top, stick the two bottoms, press it on, use the press fix as always, give it a good rub and move on to the next one. Wipe it nice and clean, no dust, big vana patch, Stick it on, pull the bottom. And that's perfectly airtight then. Cellulose installed. Now the last thing before we leave the site is deal with the spill and the mess that we made. And for that I can reverse my machine and use it as a hoover, as a vacuum. So, just disconnect the needle again and use the same hose that we were using to install it.
Now, <clears throat> the cellulose that we pick up from the floor is collected in a bag, so I can just bag it and use it, for example, on the next attic. And um, that way you have zero offcut or waste.